you are spending money in Argentina. You are looking at Argentina. What is interesting is uh, we're going to get we're going to we're going to get the rig counts out from the from the United States a little bit later on. How many rigs are there in the United States that you could take to Argentina right now and produce gas? Well, there's a lot of idle rigs in the U.S. and we need them, for example, in Argentina today to develop all these uh, the shell formations. But, so in theory, that sounds great. But there's an issue. The problem is that Argentina still has a lot of these old protectionist measures, a very strong power from the unions. So, for example, today the local manufacturers are not allowing the import of these shales and uh, of these rigs, and it's delaying the development yep. of, of all of that. I think that's what's happening in Argentina and why uh, you would have followed that, but there was this possibility of Argentina shifting from frontier market to emerging market, which would have brought a lot of flows. And all the numbers uh, indicated that that was going to happen. The political overlay and operational overlay made the rating aid agencies not doing it. And that's being the problem. There's still some blockage to bring capital, to bring rigs, yep. to bring the development in Argentina. Why is now a good opportunity in your mind to invest in Argentina? Is there an opportunity? Uh, I think so. it's a great moment. You know, what happened is the election was unexpected. Everybody got excited. When, when investors came there, equity markets were up 100 percent. The bonds had reprised. Argentinian business owners, in our case of private equity, were asking a huge amount of capital for, for their companies. And that has calmed down. And I think now there's a lot of fear about this coming election where the, the opposition could again take over part of the parliament. But I would say even that opposition is going to be mild. Maybe they are happy that the current government does the bad cop and, um, and still pushes through some of these reforms. So I think the prices have come down a little. The story of Argentina is going to, to improve. And if we were more a trading one, we would be buying some of the bonds or some of the Argentinian companies that have uh, corrected now. What are you buying? Where would, what, what are you going to buy next? Well, we are buying right now um, oil properties in, uh, in Argentina. You know, as we were saying, the rigs are there, the shale gas is there. At some point, uh, the border situation is going to be sorted out. And then the business opportunity is going to be there. So we're buying ahead of some of the last problems being lifted, expecting a, a good return from there.